The weight sticker's covered up, but this one runs just about 3,300 pounds before we start packing cargo into it. It's a 193 Bunkhouse Apex. One owner sold right here from Halid RV several years ago. The folks simply decided that they were looking for a different style of camping and they are swapping it out for a half ton toy hauler. But as far as I can tell, they were more outdoorsy folks. They weren't the type to just sit inside and watch TV. And before we get too far along, you see that with the slide out closed, you maintain 100% access to anything and everything in this RV. You don't need the slide. The slide just makes it better. And I can tell they used her a few times, but not real awful hard. This is clean, this is well kept, well maintained, not beat up, not wore down. Like if you look over here in the slide, you can see this sealed edge table. The whole thing has sealed edge countertops, by the way, whether it's in the table here, the bathroom, the, ba uh, the dinette, everything. It's not all scratched up, it's not gouged up, it's not warped where somebody too big slept on it. If you take a look at the seating, you don't see any imprints of somebody's butt who sat in here and wore down the uh, 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 foam inside of that. There's storage below those, by the way. And I like what they do with the bed setup on this. So that's a camp queen, but you see that big headboard up there. It actually gives you room to like be able to set a CPAP machine or phone chargers, or if you did want a bigger residential queen in here, you could actually remove said headboard and just put a bigger bed in it. There's nothing stopping you from really doing it. You do also maintain full overhead storage above that in a deceptively deep cabinet. It's actually quite large. Now, above that window on the right-hand side, that's where you would have your TV hookups. It does not appear the previous owner ever utilized those, but if you wanted to, it's the perfect place for a little swing-out bracket because you could make it face uh, your your face <laughs> when you're laying on the bed here, assuming you were laying with your head by the headboard, which would make the most sense. You could also make it swing out toward the dinette. Um, over here in the kitchen area, this was built before this brand switched over to the uh, full six cubic foot fridge freezer. But what that means is it also has more cabinet space as a result. Everything is a push and a pull. Nothing is just a win. There's always got to be something to give in order to get. Your sink here, you might notice I have one big sink and one little sink. That is absolutely ideal for dry camping, so you can use the tiny sink as opposed to the big one. Uh, speaking of dry camping, one of the cool things on these Apex Nanos is their holding tanks. They have 30-30-30 tanks, fresh gray and black, and while you know, bigger RVs certainly have bigger tanks. In a small camper like this, it's not really possible to have anything larger than that. There is a freezer pocket inside of that uh, smaller refrigerator, by the way. I want to give you a look at this uh, big window from a little better angle over here. You do have privacy shades, of course, throughout the whole camper. And again, there is storage below that. It certainly doesn't look... It looks basically like they slept in this thing, maybe cooked a few times, and then went outside. It doesn't look like they spent any time in here. And the fact that they're swapping this out for a small half-ton towable toy hauler also makes all the sense in the world. The bunks don't look beat down too awful much. And a neat thing, each bunk does have its own little light. So everyone's got their little night light. And everything that we looked at is cool. But I think the reason that this is the single best-selling Apex floor plan even today is the bathroom. Normally, a little camper like this has like a shower and a toilet and that's it. But you notice how they have a separate sink in the bathroom so you don't have to wash your bathroom hands in the kitchen food sink. They also have a dedicated vanity up here as opposed to just a mirror glued to the wall. Now the previous owners upgraded and put in a bigger vent fan up here for more airflow. But once again, there's a little more to be seen in this bathroom. They have an extra hanging closet in here which is something that small campers very traditionally lack. And this down here is also very good. Like you could use this as like a shelf for towels and you could put like your body washes and your soap below. Having an extra cabinet and a sink dedicated into this bathroom, I truly feel is the reason it's the single best selling Apex out there. Just like the inside, the exterior of this Apex looks fantastic. And one of the good benefits of an east-west bed like you look at it, a lot of people are like, oh, I can't walk around the bed. I tell you, it's not without its benefits. It gives us 
vastly more space for a ridiculously large pass-through cavity up front here. So this little camper can actually pack up a lot of cargo. Now there's a bunch of small little detail things that are easy to miss here, and that's part of the reason we put these videos together. For instance, below your fiberglass on your sidewalls, you've got a material called Asdell. There's not a lot of Asdell RVs in the used RV market, so it's kind of cool to find that. If you don't know what Asdell is, give us a call. Basically, it's lighter, and uh, the material itself can't rot, mold, or mildew. Also, this is a narrow body camper, but it's a seven and a half foot wide body, as compared to a traditional eight foot body or a more conventional seven foot narrow body. So it kind of splits the difference. And it's part of the thing that helps make this very travel accessible when that slide is closed. Speaking of the slide out, it's got seal gripping slide walls and it's a self adjusting slide system. The idea being you just push the button and go camping because isn't that sort of the point. And it's a little thing to point out, but the fact that you do have four corner stabilizer jacks here, there are still a number of very price budget oriented cutthroat built uh, single axle campers out there that have only rear stab jacks. They say, oh, well, the tongue jack's enough, like my foot it is. Um, above the bathroom, you might notice the Camco vent cover sticking up. Previous owners added that above that bigger fan that they upgraded there. And below those bunks, you do have a handy extra outdoor storage compartment as well. Uh, the roof is walkable on these. Interestingly, the Nanos actually have a more walkable roof than the bigger Apexes because they don't have AC runs running through their laminated roofing. And a power awning for easy campsite patio type stuff kind of finishes it off with a double entry step for easy coming and going. And that's it. This ain't gonna last because this is well kept and it's new enough, it could theoretically maybe still qualify for same as new finance. Obviously that depends on how the banker feels on a given day. But you're getting something that's still pretty darn new, looks pretty much close to how they're still built today. The layout hasn't changed really much at all, just the fridge has changed. But this has a bigger, uh, you know, pantry as a result, so it's not, again, like it's without benefit. There's good stuff going on here. Last time we had one of these used, it lasted two days. That's no joke. So give us a call, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.